All you need is patience for the journey. At the end, it will always speak. 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 As in the journey of life, a ride is in phases. Upon being able to sit up, a baby rides on a walker. The mother is busy doing something, puts him on the walker because he can't run away from there. Amen. A toddler on a tricycle, not a motorbike. An adolescent, a bicycle, not a car. Don't give a car key to a 10 year old. His leg cannot touch the ground, his eye can't see the front. This is how God's blessing system works. It works little by little. Little by little. Little by little. Don't jump the queue. Don't jump into fire. Little by little. And by little and by little. Exodus 23 verse 30. Little by little. Little by little. I will chase them away before thee. Lest the beast of the feed increase upon you to devour you. As you grow, I will expand you. As you grow, I will expand you. But by little and little, I will do it. People are in a hurry. By little and little, I will do it. By little and little, I will do it. 1987, we were under a grass cathedral in Kaduna. Grass cathedral. Amazing place. The floor not paved. Grass by the side, grass on top. Can only stop the sun. Can't stop the rain. My God, in the city, little by little, by little, by little. Little by little. But at the end, it will always speak. Because God never lies. God never lies. A son qualifies to ride a car. A trained son and flying can fly an aircraft, not a trained child. Again, it's a clear illustration. It's a little system of blessings in the kingdom. Little by little system of blessings. 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 It's not lottery. The covenants, they walk with God. <laughs> he said, Abraham, come and walk with me in the covenant. Come and walk. It's not a game. It's not a press button store. Come and walk with me in the covenant. Come and walk with me in the covenant. He said, walk. May you receive grace for that walk. May you embrace the little by little system of blessings. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yeah. But one step after another, the longest journey is made. Little by little, by little, by little, by little, you are getting there. Deuteronomy 7, 22. And the Lord thy God will put out those nations before thee by little and little. That thou mayest not consume them at once, lest the beast of the feed increase upon thee, little by little by little. Oh, you are getting there. Yeah. You are getting there. Yeah. When the Lord showed me the secret or the mystery of corporate tithing, our church was worth less than one million naira in a year, in a year, in a year. Oh, you know, that's not where we are now. No, that's not where we are. No matter the conversion on this earth, this is a wealthy church. Yes. <laughs> no matter the conversion on the earth, this is a super wealthy church. <laughs> and that's the family to which you belong. So no matter the hardship in the economy, yes. God will exempt you. Amen. 
by your consistent covenant work. Amen. It's a work. It's a work. We have been giving scholarship in my family since 1992. Life. Just not to wait and see people suffer. I have two professors in this university today that benefited from that scholarship at one point or another in their life. We had no university in place, no vision of a university in place. It's all about you. How strongly you take position in the covenant will determine what future awaits you. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. The most interesting part of this covenant is that you can start from where you are. God never puts pressure on nobody. He said to Abraham, from the place where you are, come on out, take a walk. Take a walk. Take a walk. And back on the walk. Walk to the land and the breath of it. I'll give it to you. Start from where you are. That's where to start. Number two, don't get back from this conference doing nothing. There are too many legitimate ways of living a profitable life. Don't get back from here doing nothing because whatsoever he doeth, he shall prosper. He said concerning Job, has that not blessed all the works of his hand? So he blesses what we do. Do nothing, people. Don't get nowhere. Come on now. <laughs> do nothing, people. Don't get nowhere. So whatever your hand find that to do, do it with all your might. No, I'm believing God. Yeah. Obey him to prove that you believe him. He who does not walk, let him not eat. Let him that still see no more, but let him walk with his own hand. God is saying, go and find something doing. Before you get what you are looking for, start doing something with what you are. Yes, sir. Can I hear your amen? amen? No single graduate should roam the street, not in a church like this. I did labor to earn my first pay in year three of secondary school. I developed to be a man while I was a child. You can't keep hanging around. Somebody was teaching extra something classes on NYC. He made two million from teaching economics from school to school in the areas where he starts out. Somebody is here. Hey. Wake up. Wake up. Nobody can make your way for you. I can, you can't go to law school for me. Yes, if I must be a lawyer, I must go to law school by myself. Yes, you make your way prosperous. You have good success. Somebody said, are we not preaching the same thing? No, the question is, are we doing the same thing? Are we doing the same thing? Preaching is cheap. Anybody can preach. Get back home and get something going. I close with this. A young man in Liberia read Wisdom Diary on Diligence that living without walking is dying without knowing. It's on page three of that little book. So he bought a brush and a polish and became a shoe shiner. From there, he built a computer school, mm. built a story building in the nation. At the time when story buildings are like skyscrapers. Go and do something. Prosperity answers to what we do. Whatever he doeth, he shall prosper. There are many people in school among you today who will have business before you graduate. Flourishing business. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. My grandmother preached to me or shared with me the greatest word on, test, on tithing that I ever had. Why are you carrying this thing to church every Sunday morning? He said, that is God's portion. That makes the remainder meaningful. Tithing makes the balance in your hand meaningful. It keeps the void away from your household.
from the works of your hand. Start early. Start now. It will open up great chapters to your life. As it has done to many in this church, including some of you are here. Get committed. Take grace from heaven to remain steadfast. Now, I decree that the financial fortune on this commission begins to answer in your life. We have never begged as a commission. You never beg in your life. We have never been financially stranded as a commission. You never get stranded in your life. No economic downturn has ever had impact on this ministry to ever have impact on your life anymore. Now, search for your hands this way. Whatever this your hand touches shall prosper. Whatever you find shall flourish in your hand. No one here shall be a burden on their parents. No one shall be a burden on their relations. Every time you show up, they will see a blessing is coming. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord lives, you will touch higher grace than I do. You will flow in greater affluence than I flow in. Yeah.